Welcome to my YouTube channel. Sir, aksi lang at your service, grade 9 learners. Lesson 6.2 Solving word problems involving quadratic equations Type of problem, work problems Here are the rules to follow Number 1 Calculate the rate of work of every person or object in the problem 2 Multiply the work rate by the total time to determine the amount of work each person contribution to the task. And for number three, we have to add the work for each person and set the value equal to one task. Isa sa makatutulong sa inyo para madaling unawain ang ating work problem Kailangan yung gumawa ng isang table na kung saan mayroong apat na columns. Para sa column 1, kailangan yung i-identify kung sino ang subject ng ating work problem. Meaning, sino ang mga workers. Sa so workers, it can be person or people. Or it can be objects, yung nagtatrabaho. Then after identifying the workers, we are going to identify their work rate. Work rate, ito yung bilis ng kanilang pagtatrabaho. Ito po ay laging nasa fraction. Okay? Then after ma-identify yung work rate, kailangan nating identify yung kanilang time ng pagtatrabaho. Then after identifying the time of their work, we can now have their work. Yung ginawa nilang trabaho. For example, in our problem, meron tayong worker 1 at meron worker 2. Then, i-identify natin ang work rate nung dalawa. Pag na-identify natin yung kanilang work rate, kailangan natin i-multiply ang work rate sa kanilang time. Then, after multiplying work rate by time, ito na yung result ng kanilang trabaho. Trabaho ni work 1, ni worker 1, at trabaho ni worker 2. Then, always assume na pag nakuha natin yung trabaho ang ginawa ni worker 1 at worker 2, pag pinagsama natin ang trabaho nila, always assume na matatapos nila ang isang task or isang trabaho. So, ganito nag-identify, nag-a-analyze ng isang work problem. Sample problem. Two pipes are working together can fill a tank in 35 minutes. If a large pipe alone can fill the tank in 24 minutes, less than the time taken by the smaller pipe, find the time taken by the two pipes. Para sa ating illustrative example, so sa ating problem, makikita natin na ang kanyang time ay 35 minutes. Working together, the two workers can work 35 minutes. So, sino naman yung ating workers? So, ang ating workers, meron tayong large pipe at saka small pipe. So, may malaking tubo at saka may maliit na tubo na naglalaman ng isang tangke. So, ngayon, sabi naman sa kanyang work rate, large pipe alone can fill the tank in 24 minutes. 24 minutes less than the smaller pipe. So, may binigay na kondisyon para sa work rate kay large pipe na 24 minutes less than the smaller pipe. Ngayon, ang hindi natin alam ay kung ano ba ang work rate ni smaller pipe. So, walang ibinigay. So, kapag ganito ang ating sitwasyon, we will assume that the work rate of the unknown pipe will be 
1 over x. So that will be our rate for the small pipe. And for our large pipe, it says here, if, he, uh, if it worked alone, it can work 24 minutes less than the smaller pipe. So we have 1 over 24 less than the smaller pipe. So our smaller pipe is x. So that will be x minus 24. Ang rate para kay large pipe. Then, ang gagawin natin, let us put this into our table. Okay, kung ilalagay natin sa table, so we identify the workers. So the, our first worker is the large pipe. Then our next worker is the small pipe. Then for the next column, we're going to put the work rate. So our work rate for small pipe is 1 over x. And for our large pipe is 1 over 24 minus 24 minutes less than the small pipe. Then our time is 35 minutes. Our time is 35 minutes. So based on my explanation a while ago, we are going to multiply the work rate and the time. Multiply the work rate and the time. And that will give us the work of each pipe. So 1 over x minus 24 times 35. So the answer is 35 over x minus 24 then for the small pipe so we have 1 times 35 over x so that is 35 over x then also we are going to assume that these two pipes works together so we need to add and the equals we will assume that it will finish one task. We are going to get our equation here at the work column. So we are going to get the equation at our work column. So we will have 35 over x minus 24 plus 35 over x is equal to one task. From this equation, equations transformable to quadratic equation, we need to identify our LCD. So from here, our LCD will be x times x minus 24 because we have different denominators. So we are going to multiply both sides by x times x minus 24 by x times x minus 24. So we will have x times 35. So we have 35x times x minus 24 over x minus 24 plus x times 35, we have 35x times x minus 24, x minus 24 all over x equals 1 times x is x times x, that is x squared. Then 1 times x, x times negative 24, that is negative 24x. So we will have, okay, simplified. So we can cancel x minus 4, x minus 24. x minus 24, rather, x minus 24. And we also cancel x and x. Then simplifying this, so we will have 35x plus 35 times x, that is 35x, 
Then 35 times negative 24 is negative 840 equals x squared minus 24x. Then simplifying this, so 35 plus 35, that is 70x minus 840 equals x squared minus 24x. Then rewriting this in standard form, we need to get the additive inverse of x squared and the additive inverse of negative 24x. So we will have 70x minus 840. Then let's have the space for two terms. Equals x squared minus 24x. Additive inverse of positive x squared is negative x squared. Additive inverse of negative 24x is positive 24x. So, kung anong ginawa sa right side, gagawin din sa left side. So, minus x squared plus 24x. Then, let's simplify. So, we'll have x squared. Yun muna ang left side. x squared minus x squared. So, that is cancel. Zero. Then, negative 24x plus 24x, so that is also cancelled, 0. So, our left side now is equal to 0. Okay. Then, arranging the terms, so that will become negative x squared. So, this one plus 70x plus 24x. Minus 840. Then, combining similar terms, so we will have negative x squared plus 94x minus 840 equals 0. Then, multiplying both sides by negative 1, so we will have Negative times negative, that is positive, x squared. Negative times positive, that is negative, 94x. Then negative times negative, that is positive, 84. Is equal to 0. So this is our equation for our problem. So let us solve our equation, x squared minus 94x plus 84 by factoring. So we have two factors equals to zero. So we have x squared is x and x. So since our middle term is negative and our last term is positive, both our factors are negative. So factors of 84, so that is, eight, factors of 840 I mean, so that is 84 and 10. So that is 84 plus 10 is 94. Okay, so we will have x minus 84 is equal to 0, 0 product property, x minus 10 is equal to 0. So we will have additive inverse, so x minus 84 plus 84 equal 0 plus 84. So we will have 84, negative 84 plus 84, that is 0, so that is x. Equal 0 plus 84, that is 84. So, x sub 1. Then, for our x sub 2, x minus 10, additive inverse, plus 10, equal 0 plus 10. So, negative 10 plus 10, that is 0. So, x equals 10 for our x sub 2. Now, let us analyze our problem. So, kanina... Ang ating work rate ni large pipe ay 1 over x minus 24. Now, if our x is equal to 10, so will the work rate for large pipe be possible? So, we will have, substituting this, so we will have 1 over 10 minus 24. So, that is equal to 1 over negative 14. 
So meaning, our rate will become 1 over negative, will become negative. So wala namang nagtatrabaho ng negative 1 over 14 na kabilis or kabagal. So meaning, hindi possible ng work rate ni large pipe ay 10. So, hindi possible na work rate ni large pipe ay 10. Or ni small pipe ay 10. Kasi magiging negative. So, therefore, from our given, or from, from the result of our activity, or solution, so, work rate ni small pipe I thirty five over X eighty four at ang kay large pipe I one over X minus twenty four Sorry, that is 35. I equal siya sa 35 over 84 minus 24. Kaya equal siya sa 35 over 60. Therefore, our small pipe can work 84 minutes alone and our large pipe can work x minus 24 which is equal to 84 minus 24 and that is equal to 60 minutes Then, to check if our answer is correct, so we'll have 35 over x minus 24 plus 35 over x equals 1. So, we'll have 35 over x minus 24 is 60. Plus 35 over 84 is equal to 1. Then let's find the LCD. Since this is reducible, or you can write this in simpl simplest form, 35 over 60, so this is equal to divide both sides by 5 over 5, so that is equal to 7 over 12. So this will become 7 over 12 plus 35 over 84 is equal to 1. Then multiply our L by our LCD which is 84. 84. So this is equal to. So we'll have 7 times 84 over 12 plus. 35 times 84 over 84 equals 1 times 84, that is 84. So we'll have 84 divided by 12, that is 7. So we'll have 49 plus 84 divided by 84 is cancel 35 is equal to 84. 49 plus 35, that is 84, equals 84. Thank you for watching.